You're listening to the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, the Hawk Commodity Ant C, joined by my own Hawk Commodity Ant, covering all things WWE. Today, we're covering WWE Monday Night Raw from May 13th, 2024, live in Greenville. Whoa, whoa, whoa. South it's Monday Night. Monday. I guess if you're a Jade fan. Uh, but to kick off Raw in Greenville, South Carolina, we have Drew McIntyre coming out. Drew says CM Punk's not going to show up in Greenville. Punk pulled the trick of looking like a drug addict without doing anything. He kept breaking your trust and you keep taking him back. If you're a CM Punk fan, you're stupid. He challenged me to a fight after watching me leave. He's running for me, but I will catch you. Number one on my list is that paper champion, Damian Priest. And with that world champion, Damian Priest comes out. Priest says, you got some serious issues. Why don't you say what you want to say in someone's face? Drew says, since you're stepping up to me, you paid your dues. You just don't deserve to be champion. The title makes the man. It needs Drew McIntyre. You knew you didn't. You couldn't beat. Drew, Damian says, you're delusional. You're blaming everyone for your failures. Choose to find a mirror and blame that asshole. I wanted to cash in on Seth Rollins, but you stopped me multiple times. That's your fault. You finally achieved your goal at WrestleMania. All you had to do was leave. You saw Punk and made him more important than everyone, including your wife. You got your ass whipped by a one-armed man. You got a shot at the title. You can call me a paper champion, but when I'm done with you, you'll be eating your words. So... Damian Priest accepts the challenge from Drew McIntyre. Priest made a lot of good points. He did, Drew is like, you know, you should have waited, you screwed up, but he did do what Damian said. He waited till after the match. Damian, you know. Also, oh, Drew McIntyre originally said, don't cash in on Seth Rollins. Let me beat Seth Rollins. And then and that, cash in on me. And that's exactly what he did. And But he does have a I'm sorry, but I I have a hard time looking at Priest like he's the real champ. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe he needs time. Maybe. And I like him and everything, but it was just, and I know that like other people have won the belt that way. It's just like cheesy to me that somebody gets somebody at a bad time and they become a world champion. But that's what you get when you win the money in the bank. So it, it's hard. We'll see what happens. Uh, we get our first quarterfinal match for the Queen of the Ring. He Eos, hasn't defended it. Uh, he did. He beat Jay Uso at Backlash. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Eo Sky with damage control taking on Shayna Baszler. There is a cool moment in the match when um, Shayna gets hung upside down on the ropes and the camera angle looks kind of cool in it. Uh, we see Eo in a springboard moonsault to the floor. Baszler applies the Karakuda Clutch, but EO hits two double knees in the corner and then over the moonsault, and EO Sky advances to the Queen of the Ring. What'd you think? Um, it was good. I kind of expected uh, EO to win. Yeah. Um, I mean, she was just champion, so we'll see. I'm excited to see EO. I thought it was a good match. Gina Baszler looked good, but EO needs to be the one to move on Queen Burns since she just lost the title. During this match, we got a QR code again, which me and Ian were excited to see what was going to happen. We went to the link, and it was a sort of like a, a website full of different pictures. And you go through all the pictures, and there's all these different little notes talking about how they set us free. I was in a cave. There's a note where it's like he's in, the person's answering questions. And then there's a newspaper clipping about someone who has gone missing, and... This therapist was a therapist to the fiend when he was alive and kicking in WWE. This therapist has gone missing. And at the end of the picture, you see a floppy disk with the word, the wit was witch. And then it's May 16, 2024, which is tomorrow, Thursday. What are you getting out of all of these teasers? And what do you think is going to happen? I don't know what they mean, all of them. But um, I think it's going to be it's definitely something, obviously, with the Wyatt family. Um, I think they're coming back at King of the Ring, or at least one of them. 
Um, and uh, I don't know. It's very like all cryptic. Like the name of the therapist, if you rearrange the letters, it's Uncle Howie. Mm -hmm. So it's it's gonna be good. I'm excited to see this dark. And they finally mentioned it on TV. I was talking about that last yeah, week. Yes, for the first year. You didn't know what was going on, but now we're seeing it. And we're like, what's happening? We are creepy. Okay. Judgment Day are backstage. Dominic Mysterio wants Judgment Day to work with Carlito. Carlito says they all can benefit. Damian Priest tells Carlito, if the boys want to work with you, that's fine, but you're not wanted. Carlito then says stubborn minds can change and he leaves. So Carlito wants to work with the Judgment Day. We'll see what happens later on with that. Um, we see Chad Gable yelling at Alpha Academy. He wants Sazawa to fight Bronson Reed and Otis to fight Sami Zayn. Gable being the ass Gable being the asshole coach. Uh, Lillian Garcia comes out and hugs Samantha Irvine and does the internet introductions for the next two opponents of the King of the Ring qualifying match. The Pro New Day versus Gunther. Uh, Kofi attacked Gunther before the bell. And again, these King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring matches are very good on Raw and SmackDown. Uh, Gunther super he lands a back suplex onto the railing and table to Kofi Kingston. Gunther then applies the Boston Crab on the announce table. Kofi Hurricane runs Gunther into a post and lands a trouble in paradise on the floor. But Gunther is able to capitalize and then a power bomb and apply a Boston Crab. And Gunther advances to um, the semifinals. What did you think of it being of this match and Gunther being the winner? Um, I mean, I knew Gunther was going to win. I I think Gunther might be king of the ring. I think there's a really good chance that happens. I would hope so. I like Gunther. I think he's going to, you know, he still is, has just started, but he's already done so much. Um, I'm excited to see what more he's going to do. Uh, World Women's Champion Becky Lynch is backstage, thanking Lyra Valkyria for having her back last week. Becky then leaves Lyra and then Liv interrupts. Liv says to Lyra, has Becky always been such a bitch? And then Becky shows up and punches Liv in the face. And Becky says, I'm not afraid of a face-to-face -face confrontation, bitch. So these two ladies are not fancy with one another. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see later on tonight what happens. Karrion, con Karrion Cross confronts the New Day backstage. And Cross pretty much tells Kofi Kingston that you have an opportunity to change things. And kind of making it look like Kofi might be turning heel. That would be interesting to see Kofi as a heel. He's been a baby face. What's that Karrion Cross. Uh, um, next up, we see Bronson Reed defeat Akira Tozawa quickly after a tsunami. After the match, Chad Gable yells at Tozawa. Basic filler, nothing really important yeah. there, just to make Chad Gable look like an asshole. Um, Ludwig Kaiser is then interviewed backstage, and during this interview, I was more focused on the guy and the girl staring. No one really mentioned this, so maybe this wasn't anything important. But in the back stage area during this interview, you see behind Kaiser a lady and a guy staring just at the wall. And the camera keeps cutting to them, but we don't really know who they are. What they look like, Nikki. It did look like long black hair, a dress. Um, we then see Braun Breaker confronting Adam Pierce. He says that he should have been in the King of the Ring match tournament. Um, we then get our, our second semi -quart sorry, quarterfinal match tonight. Lyra Valkyra versus Zoe Stark. Lyra gets the win after the night wing, and Lyra advances. What do you think? Um, she's been doing great so far. Mm -hmm. She's good. Do you like her? Because at first when she came out, you didn't really know much about her. She's doing a bit better. Next up, Intercon champion Sami Zayn defeats Otis with Chad Gable after Otis misses a Vader bomb and Sami hits a Haluba kick. After Chad Gable yells at Otis, um, he starts pushing him in the face and then Sami lands a um, suplex into the corner and a Haluba kick to Chad Gable. After that, Gable continues to yell at Otis and he slaps Otis across the face and Otis leaves a Chad Gable. Eventually, Otis is going to turn, but uh, what do you think? Um, I think that we will see that probably next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think definitely they're going to get rid of Chad. Uh, maybe there will be a match between Otis and Chad Gable. I don't know. Okay. 
or maybe uh, some also chats kind of still going after Sami Zayn. So Braun Strowman's talking to the Creed brothers, but JD McDonough interrupts him and tells him the Judgment Day doesn't appreciate Braun getting in their business. He's been warned. Um, speaking of watching this on TV. During the Judgment Day promo, Damian Priest asks Dominic if he and Rhea are okay. And Dominic is like, yeah. Now, they're referring to Dominic being seen with Liv more than once. They walk out of the same room. Liv posts a picture on Instagram with Dominic's purple bandana in her pant pocket. So, obviously, they want us to think something is happening. Just wanted to point that out there. Um Next up, we have the World Women's Champion Becky Lynch defeating Dakota Kai by disqualification after damage control attack. Becky, after the match, Lyra Valkyria makes a save attacking damage control. But during this attack, uh, Liv Morgan runs out and tosses Becky Lynch shoulder first into the ring post. Becky and Liv will meet at King and Queen of the Ring. But what do you think about Liv having the advantage over Becky? Um, I think that you think yeah. at King of the Ring, maybe Dom will help us. You never know, right? Um, that's a good thought. And then me, uh, well, my mommy hopes that she won't be happy. Mm-hmm. Ilya Dragunov is being interviewed. Gunther confronts him. Ilya is the guy who defeated Gunther back in NXT UK. So, interesting to see if they will fight. We get I wonder if Moose gonna have the title for a while because maybe. They want Rhea to come back when Liv is champion. And also, yeah. Becky still hasn't re-signed yet with WWE. That's what Yeah, but Seth. Yeah, but... Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got a number one contenders match for the tag titles. Finn Balor and J.D. McDonough versus the New Catch Republic, the Freed Brothers, and AOP. The World Tag Team Champions, Awesome Street, are out ringside for this match. Um, Carlito runs in and hits Pete Dunn with a backstabber on top of the announce table. Um, Finn Balor to hit the Coup de Gras on Pete for the Judgment Day to get the win. Um, after the match, Damian Priest asks, oh, well, he does, this is when he does, he asks Dominic if he and Rhea are okay. Carlito shows up and Damian says, don't let me down, you're in. So now Carlito is a member of the Judgment Day after helping JD and Finn get the number one contender. Who said that? Damian Priest. He said you're in? Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, he tells Carlito he's in. Yeah. So what do you think about Carlito joining Judgment Day? It's weird. Oh. But I guess it's a deal. Something to do. Well, we've made to our main event the final quarterfinal match for the King of the Ring. The winner will move on to the semifinals to take on Gunther next week on Raw. Ilya Dragunov versus Jey Uso. A lot of action in this match, but Jay gets the win after landing a spear and an Uso splash. After the match, Gunther stands face to face with Jay, sort of getting us prepared for next week on Raw. Oh, to go back for a second, yeah. that also is going to bring more heat between LWO and Judgment Day with Carlito mm-hmm. there, you know, because they still have a settled. I forgot that. Yeah, they haven't made anything better. Um, so what was your favorite moment from tonight's episode? Um, I thought it was cool to see Lily and Garcia. Uh, that was kind of neat. I like to see old people show up like that. Old people. Not old, but from like at two days. Um I liked um the live and Becky stuff, definitely. And um, I like the match between Jey Uso and Dragon. Okay. Okay. I like that match too. I was excited again with the Liv and Becky stuff too. The Bray Wyatt Uncle Howdy yeah. stuff was my favorite moment of the night all the time. But with that, we have covered all of this episode of Raw. We've got SmackDown coming up, and then we got Raw, SmackDown, and then I think King and Queen of the Ring. Uh, a lot coming your way. Be on the lookout for more ads here. We're heading to No Mercy 1999. A lot more to come. Until next time, stay safe and stay uncensored.